more on this, let's speak to John Marchant. He's an expert from the Astrophysics Research Institute in Liverpool in the United Kingdom. Uh, Mr Marchant, good to speak to you today on TRT World. Um, so they're back on Earth now. Just um, what kind of effects will uh, have they, have, they have suffered being in space for such a long period of time? Um, the main effect, I think, would probably have been uh, the effect on the bones, because the, you hardly use your skeleton when you're in weightlessness. So the body just tends to adapt to this different situation, and your bones get more brittle, they get weaker. Um, in fact, a lot of the research that is, is going on to investigate the effect on the bones has a direct influence on uh, medications for osteoporosis, which affects older people on Earth. So there, there are benefits both to astronauts and to us on the ground as well. Um, there are other effects as well, but that's, that's like the, the, the big one which uh, a lot of the space agencies are um, more, most concerned about, really. Absolutely. So as well as uh, carrying out experiments in space, they're being experimented on themselves in, in certain respects. Uh, yes. So Tim Peake is, is back, the British astronaut, of course. He was tweeting a lot from space and some great pictures. Uh, he's garnered a lot of attention, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Well, although he's not the, the, the very first British person to have gone into space, he's the first sort of official government-funded British astronaut. Uh, the other ones were more privately funded or British people who have uh, changed their uh, nationality to American or whatever. So this is the first, like, proper British astronaut that we've had. And um, these days, of course, uh, social media is... is uh, uh, much bigger now than it was years ago. Sorry, than it was years ago. So um, um, it's just happened at the right time that he's the very first proper British astronaut, and we have all the social media activities. So the two have come together, and it's just exploded on the on the social scene. It certainly has. And what else would they have learned spending all that time in space? What other work were they doing up there? Um, well, they were doing a few experiments actually. Uh, one of them was um, investigating the effects of um, what happens when you. Um, make alloys, alloys of metal, um, because when you make it on the ground, um, the effect of gravity and the effect of the container that you have to hold the, the molten metal in sort of uh, distort the effects of what actually happens when, when the metal actually um, comes together and the, and the crystals of metal um, appear. And there's still actually a, a lot that isn't known about exactly how that process forms. So by doing all of that kind of thing in weightlessness, you're taking two things out of the equation, taking the gravity, and you don't even need a container because they have this special facility to basically levitate a blob of molten metal in mid-air or in a vacuum and then watch it solidify. Mm. And that will answer a lot of questions. Um, there's a few other things I've been doing as well. One of them was um, investigating uh, a new technology to monitor uh, the effects of stress on the voice, so a, a way of, of telling if if somebody needs to take a rest or if they are operating suboptimally because they've been working too hard. You see, astronauts are a, a, a select group of people who are constantly monitored 24 hours a day. They have uh, biosensors all over their body. So they're actually a, a perfect guinea pigs for this kind of thing. Um, and the, the uh, results from that will actually be able to be applied to people who well, other people who are working in high-stress situations like down mines or things like that. So um, that's, a, that's another thing that they were working on as well, and a few other things as well. So some good value for uh, all the billions that were spent. Yeah. Uh, John Marchant, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your time on TRT World. Thank you. Okay.